I've been a fan of Paula ever since she was the first girl from our high school to hit the big time in New York. I know what you're thinking, but this isn't a stalker story. We were actually friends in school. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even recognize me now, though. Hey, Smitley, can you stay late? I gotta go meet my mom. Sure, Antonio. So can you imagine my shock when she agreed to be on this year's Celebrity Single at Game Show? I just had to apply. Sure, I know it's more than a long shot. More like a no shot. Me and three other eligible bachelors from who knows where. What could possibly go wrong? Maybe I can make it into that podcast I've always been talking about. Welcome to Celebrity Single Ed, where believe it or not, we find out that celebrities are real people too. All these American TV shows, the same desperate women ready for my hot baguette. Bjork has so many women all over Scandinavia. Rank amateurs. You're sweet. And now that we've met our sponsor, let's meet Paula. Oh, welcome, welcome. It's so nice to have you here. Paula, I just have to ask, what is a girl like you doing on a show like this? Well, I'm hoping to find a man who doesn't cheat. Well, how hard can it be, darling? Harder than one might think. Hmm. Well, we're just going to have to see, won't we? Well, we're going to introduce Paula to our bachelors. Now, first, they're going to tell us a little bit about where they're from and something about themselves. And then, the lucky bachelor that's chosen gets to take Paula out onto a dream date of his choosing. Our first jet-setting bachelor is Jean-Pierre. Let's see what he has to say. In France, we spend time drinking wine and waiting for Mon Cherie. Perhaps I could do that with you, Paula. Ooh la la. <laughs> well, next up, Bachelor number two comes from Holland. Now, I have to admit, I don't know anything about this land, but he is a tennis pro named Bjorg. Hello, welcome to Bjorg. I'm not going to put my finger in the dike. I'm going to use it to point to the most beautiful vermin in the room. It's you, Paula. Well, he's pretty direct. Any thoughts yet on, on any of this? No. All right, well, let's take a commercial break and then we'll come back to meet bachelors number three and four. It's your God, you're next, then Smedley. I just hope I can be myself up there and remind her of Spokane Strong. Are you recording all this, mate? Yeah, it's for my podcast. I'm gonna go ahead with the news alert. This guy is a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Let nerd. It's Bjorg. Well, we're back to meet our other two bachelors. Any thoughts so far on what you have on your mind? Maybe more substance and a little less silliness. Oh, then you're gonna like this next fella. Raj is an entrepreneur from the great continent of Australia. Let's go down under together, sweetheart. Crikey, this boomerang is just for you. <laughs> well, that's a little too hot for TV. Are we still on? <laughs> well, our last bachelor, comes from Spokane, Washington. That's right. I asked for somebody from my hometown. Yeah, that's an odd choice, but that's all right. Smedley. Smedley is an audio documentary editor. Take it away, Smedley. Hi, Paula. I don't think you'd remember me, but we used to trade Pokemon cards with each other back in the day at Lincoln. Wrap it up, Smed. I do remember you, Pokemon Smed. Well, Paula, where we come from, we take honesty and integrity seriously. All these American TV shows, the same desperate women ready for my hot baguette. York has so many women all through Scandinavia. Rank amateurs. Okay, so I played dirty, but I got the girl. She'll probably just leave me in two weeks for Pete Davidson, but my podcast is gonna be epic no matter what. Who said nice guys finish last? Oh, Smedley, you should know. I've never been into those Hollywood jerk types to begin with. Well, my podcast is doing so well now. Who says I'm not going to be the next Hollywood jerk? <laughs>